During the American Revolution, John Paul Jones was a name that struck fear into the hearts of the British admirals, for he was forever attacking their ships when they least expected it. He was extraordinarily clever even to keep his ship afloat, for the Bonhomme Richard was a small old tub of a merchant ship, and his artillery consisted of a few rusty second-hand cannon, yet he was the terror of the seas. In the year of 1779, the British Admiralty sent one of their newest and biggest men of war, the Serapis, to capture or sink John Paul Jones. The very sight of this floating fortress made all other warships change course immediately. However, on the night that John Paul Jones sighted the Serapis, he didn't hesitate, but steered right for the mighty man of war. First, John Paul Jones sent men into the rigging with bombs and grenades and told them to await his orders. Next, as the Bonhomme Richard drew close to the Serapis, Captain Jones said, Tell the cannoneers on deck to fire a broadside. There was a tremendous explosion, but there wasn't any broadside. Six of the Bonhomme Richard's biggest cannon were so old they had exploded and fallen apart. The men were confused. John Paul was worried. Then the mighty Serapis answered with a mighty broadside that sent the Bonhomme Richard crew running for cover. But John Paul Jones said calmly, Back to your stations, men. They went back, but there weren't any stations waiting for them. Undaunted, John Paul Jones took the wheel of his floundering ship and, braving the heavy gunfire, pulled alongside the mighty Serapis and ordered his men to tie the two ships together with heavy rope. The Serapis fired a second broadside, point-blank, into the Bonhomme Richard. And through the smoke, the British captain yelled to John Paul Jones, You are as good as sunken, sir. Do you surrender? To which Captain Jones replied, Sir... I have not yet begun to fight. The crew of the Bonhomme Richard roared their approval. <laughs> Captain Jones was everywhere, shouting encouragement to his men. Come on, lads, show them what a Yankee is. They were so impressed by his bravery that they fought like demons, for he made them feel that they had not yet begun to fight. Captain Jones yelled to his men high in the rigging to hurl their grenades and bombs down on the open hatchways of the Serapis. The mighty Serapis shook from stem to stern and her mainsail toppled. For as John Paul had hoped, the bombs and grenades thrown from the rigging had hit their target, the gunpowder room, and totally disabled the mighty man of war. The captain of the Serapis hauled down her colors and the Bonhomme Richard's crew gave a hearty cheer. 